Hey Tick, we're gonna be checking out Sujin. She is back already with Mona Lisa, also back with some B-sides. Her last EP was really, really good, or mini album, whatever they're called these days. Um, fantastic. I thought it was amazing. There were really good tracks on there. Um, and I loved her debut, her solo debut, Agassi. Uh, Agassi. Uh, it was really good. It was great. She, she's so, oh, she's stunning. It was hypnotizing. The set was great. The choreography was everything. So I'm excited to be seeing what she's doing. Um, if she's sort of continuing down that path of the concept and the sound and the choreography she gave us, or she do a little something different, whatever. Whatever she does, I'm here for it. Let's check out Mona Lisa. Wasting no more time. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, we started with vocals. Okay, lightning strikes. Miss ma'am. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Got me crazy. Let's go. I mean, Corpy's already a slave. Her vocals are definitely standing out for this one. I love. I love the. Um, what do they call that? Nice. Cute. Holographic. The holographic look to some of this stuff. Okay, the outfit's mad cute. Ooh, we got sets, girl. Plural. Natural and golden, how beautiful. Ooh. Cute. I love the perfect changes for the dancers there. Stunning, stunningly gorgeous. Nice. Yeah, this whole aesthetic, sick. I love. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice. Corfee's great, I love. And I love how she's continuing like an emphasis on choreography with this solo project once again. It's really nice. It's a, it's great. It's cute. It feels different. I love this album. Who wrote this? Who, who she got around her songs? Um, they're a slay. They are a big, big slay. I like the concept again. It definitely does feel like it's kind of going down the same route. This one's definitely much more hype uh, than Agashi was. Uh, but I think we're, she's definitely found her genre, her lane um, for it. And I love, I think it's really fitting for her. The outfits were really cute. All the sets were really great. The sort of like, I don't know, it's, it was like a cave-like one with the lightning strikes and the lights behind them. That was really cool. Also the CGI butterfly wings, that was really cool. It was really interesting, right? Cause sometimes you have these very like, and then there's the other set uh, with that like ring of fire around it. Um, in the sand where she was dancing. So you have these like elemental sets, you know what I mean? Um, where it's kind of it's like a cave and sand, we feel like deserty, but then they threw in that like holographic one which is like the bedspread and that stuff and it feels very like kind of futuristic and but it, it worked very well but they are like two completely separate types of things. Um, but really well done. Uh, yeah, Puff Road Y of Mokti Min, uh, Woo Song Yun, uh, wrote the track. They did a fantastic job. It riz me up. Riz me up, girl, riz me up. Oh my God. Um, drop top. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the B-sides. I got distracted. Um, really excited to be checking those out. Does she even perform for Riz Me Up? Because 
I feel like I need. I need. That feels like something you just, you don't just make a song with Riz and not give a performance. Taman showed us that. Um, but Riz me up. I'm going to see. I'm going to look. There's a special clip. There's a special clip for us to check out. Um, that looks very interesting. Uh, we'll check out that special clip. It is going to be on the list because I need to... I need to understand what's happening here, but her last uh, album again was really great with the production of the sound and everything for it. I quite enjoyed it, so I'm excited to dive into these B-sides, uh, minus Riz Me Up, uh, but yeah, that'll be really great, especially if this was a little bit more upbeat. She, I have a feeling she may experiment more with those B-sides. I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet, but I really like what she gave here with Mona Lisa. For me, her vocals stood out like so much, and she looked suddenly gorgeous. All the outfits were like so cute, but yes, I feel like Sue Miss Ma'am, we have found her like niche, her lane, and she's staying in it as she should because it's really great stuff she's given us here. Go to put your thoughts and comments down below to that about Sujin's Mona Lisa. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go to hit the subscribe button. Want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below. Or at the end screen, if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Links in the description down below. I'm currently playing Spider Man the PS4 version, so if you could join me over there for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.